hello guys so this is going to be the start of this vlog today is the 18th of july and it is two days to my birthday and i'm getting my temporary residence card today and i mean when i applied for my temporary residence card it got to a point i was worried because i was not seeing any progress with my application but then god does um his thing at his own time and when everything started working out it was i don't know I, I don't even know how to explain it because and why i was actually worried was that i got selected for an erasmus exchange program and in order for me to leave poland i need my temporary residence card so which meant if i'm not getting my temporary residence card before i'm going for my erasmus exchange program I won't be able to leave Poland. So I will be staying legally in Poland because um, I had applied for my temporary residence card before my visa expired, but then I want to leave Poland. And also one of the requests I made to God, I think maybe two months ago or last month was that I need my temporary residence card. Like I want to go to Germany on the 28th of July. So there is the change in plan. And I can say that God answered my prayer. Even though I'm not going to Germany again, that is on me. I made the decision not to go again, change of plans. But then if I'm still going to Germany on the 28th of July, I'm getting my temporary residence card on the 18th of July. So which means I can still travel. So God's timing, it's not our timing. God can overturn things within a second within a minute and i'm glad i'm getting my temporary residence card and i will also be going for my erasmus exchange program so my temporary residence card is not going to stand as an endurance for me going for my erasmus exchange program and already ordered for i ordered for some cartons for moving i also ordered for this um unskilled thingy for me to weigh my luggage when i'm going <laughs> guys today is the 5th of august and my trip is going to be soon but the thing is that i don't know exactly what i'm doing with my life at this point i'm supposed to send an email to the university i will be attending to inform them the exact day i will be arriving but i've not done that and that is because i don't even know when i want to travel i've been checking um the prices of flights online and the day i had in mind to travel flight ticket is more expensive on that day so i don't know if i should travel before or a day after but anyways i'm going to figure it out even though i don't know what i'm doing at this moment i've not packed my things i have some cartons that i bought that i'm going to be using to pack my things both the ones i won't be taking with me and the ones i'm going to be using like logistics to um send over to where i will be staying and also i want to make my hair my hair has been out for months now but i want to make um bread and i'm going to be making it myself but first i need to eat clean my room and then i'll continue making my hair so i have a pre-stretched um hair extension that i'll be making use of up sunday guys so i'm going to be heading to church very soon and today is going to be my last sunday in poland before the beginning of another semester so i'm traveling this week this very week by the special grace of god see you guys on the other side i've already packed my room is scattered like scattered because i'm trying to pack my things this is one of the box that i've packed this is another box and i still have more cartons here hopefully i'm going to pack just one more box for shipping and then i have my um 
I have my box here and then I have my I have my hand luggage also and then I'm going to take a carry-on bag and that is it bye guys <laughs>service this morning so while coming here i already knew i was not going to find like a physical church that i could attend because of the language barrier um the church i could find that is like and that is an english speaking church i know i would be able to relate well with this service and all is at the capital city and that is going to take me more than an hour to get to where i'm going and that is not an option so i decided to join online service so i already had it in mind that throughout my stay here i'm going to be joining service online so i joined service online this morning and my roommate also told me that there is a self fellowship um very close to where i'm staying so i just got back from there now and it's not a big gathering but what is important is that um we are worshiping god and god word is being shared so that is what is important so i think for my sundays i'm going to be joining services online because i still want to have that ninja vibe kind of thing and then i'm also going to be going for the cell fellowship and currently for tomorrow i don't have anything on my schedule for tomorrow though i'm supposed to have lectures on monday but my lectures but my lectures for monday will start next month so i still have some classes this week but i don't have anything on monday and i don't think i have anything on tuesday also so i don't know how tomorrow is going to look like but either ways i have an online course that i'm supposed to attend to i'm going to start the course today I should have started the course like two days ago but i've just been busy with one thing or the other so i'm going to start the course today then tomorrow since i really don't have like much things to do i'm going to continue with my online course it doesn't the course doesn't have like um a fixed deadline so i can do the course at my own pace but at the same time i still need to dedicate time to it because it's a lot i mean this course is a lot it's going to take me months to finish this course and i still have classes to attend to i i have a whole lot of things my project is there every like i have a whole lot of things to attend to and tear up and this is eight pieces in one i got french fries And this biscuit is a lot of biscuit. I don't even know this biscuit is like a lot like this, but it's very nice. This is going to last me for a while because I'm not really a biscuit fan and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this biscuit yet or not. But I just bought it for snacking sake. Sometimes it gets bored and you just want to snack on something. I got some oats. Is this oats? yeah i got some oats so i bought this um baking paper because we have an oven in the kitchen i got this cocoa mix i'm going to try it out if it's going to be nice because i take coffee a lot and i want to reduce it so i got this um mana which is also known as semolina so the likes of semovita semolina back in nigeria so it's the same thing it's the same thing and i plan on cooking this the exact way they cook it 
um, either here or in Poland. So I'm going to check online for recipes on how to make this because most African back in Nigeria, we make this manna in form of a swallow. So just the way we eat back in Nigeria, where you eat semovita with maybe vegetable soup and the like. And because things like gari, elubo, all those swallow that we eat back in Nigeria is a bit expensive, so we opt in for this manna. And I really don't like semovita back in Nigeria. I mean, semovita can stay up till a year in my house and i will not touch it i also got this spaghetti i mean i got a lot of food stuff honestly this is going to last me more than a month i also got fruit juice i got two pack of fruit juice say no to carbonated drink i got this pack of chicken so this is one kilogram i got two packs this is one kilogram I also got some potatoes. There's two kilograms of potato. I have cabbage. Here. I'm going to grate it together with um, the carrots. I have some carrots here also. So I'm going to use the cabbage and the carrots for um, the fillings that will go into my tortilla wrap. Together with, I, I bought some minced turkey. Okay, this is chicken bread. So I got a different kind of stuff. So I have some instant noodles. I bought about six pieces. What else do I have? So I have this pepper. It says I'm hot. So I bought it because it is hot. I mean, I'm in Nigeria. What is pepper without that hotness in it? I have this bell pepper here. Yeah, I bought two different colors. And I also have these tomatoes that I'm going to be using also. I also got dark chocolates because I like the bitter taste um, dark chocolate gives. I got this milk. This is 1.5 liters of milk. I bought two packs. No, I bought three. So I bought three packs of this milk. I bought this spice mix. I don't know how it looks like, but we are going to try it out. I bought a pack of egg, 15 pieces. I brought this mayo for um, my tortilla filling. I also got Greek yogurt. And then this is salt. Um, I bought a lot of things too, I can not lie. This is rice, so I'm going to try out their rice. I, I only bought just one pack. I want to be sure of the outcome of this rice, so I bought just one pack of it. But in appearance, it looks it looks okay, but then we are going to try it out. I bought ketchup. I bought a lot of Rimi products. <laughs> yeah, and we have flour. I bought 2 kg of flour, so I can always use this for snacks. I can use this for puff puff. I can use this for egg roll. I can make meat pie with it. I can make... Okay, I don't want to make sausage because I don't want to eat sausage. I bought this condensed milk. I bought two of it. It's been a while I've taken um, creamy milk. The kind that we take it back in Nigeria. That's one that gives you, oh my goodness. So I just said just buy two because all this milk is expensive compared to the normal milk they sell here i bought some toiletries and this this one is for the toilet i bought this i bought this big pack of um always i have my body spray i still have a body spray but i just bought it like so that it's going to last me i like having things at hand so that way i'm going to know how much I have left with me, how much do I need to save. I bought toothpaste, my toothpaste will soon finish. And then this um like an this is an air freshener. So this is for the bathroom. I bought this liquid wash for plates. I bought this one for and and then this one for the toilet, just to wash the toilet. 
and that's pretty much everything that i got and to be honest this is a lot of things and i also got this mopping bucket this mopping bucket to be honest this is a lot of things a whole lot of things for 108 euro it's a good buy and i'm definitely going to use this more than a month i mean i have varieties already there's flour there's rice there's milk there's oats there's yogurt there's yogurt i mean just taking yogurt with some granola is food on its own there's no juice there's this manner of a thing this is a lot of thing and there's chicken there's potato there is french fries <laughs> i have food already i have food i am blessed i am blessed <laughs> there's no doubt about that and that's all i got bye <laughs> Yeah.